Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air, and today we are looking at two ADP 115 volt E furnace modular blowers with the uh, ADP coils on top that we just installed. Uh, and then we also did new heat pump condensers outside. So I'm going to go over these units uh, and this installation that we just did, talk about this system and why we used it. And then um, I'm also going to do a video about the heat pumps, so stay tuned for that coming up. Um, as always, please like and subscribe to my uh, channel here uh, for more videos like this, especially about heat pump system, systems. They're becoming a lot more popular, so I'm going to be doing a lot more heat pump and fan coil videos. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Leave a comment in the section below. I'm happy to answer those for you. And if you're located in Orange County, California, you're welcome to give me a call at 714-526-6368 or visit us at albertair.com. So, Here's some information on these fan coils. Um, on the left here, we have a three ton ADP um, modular E furnace, which is basically just a blower motor in there in the housing of a furnace cabinet. Um, on top, we have the three ton ADP coil. And then on the right side here, we have a four ton version of the same system. So we have two systems at this house. Before this, they were gas furnaces and coils in here. Um, with AC condensers outside and we went over to an all-electric heat pump system So to accomplish that we wanted to look at what would be the best situation for them They were looking for a single stage system. They didn't want a two-stage or variable speed heat pump system So with that in mind, we were able to do these ADP um, modular e furnaces module flex e furnaces um, The reason we did these is they plug into the wall here. So they plug into the same outlet that the furnace plugged into so they are 115 volt that means you do not need to run a dedicated 220 circuit from the panel to each of these fan coils um, many fan coils on the market today are 220 volt they are coming out with more 115 volt options which is very nice um, but yeah so that's why we went with these we also went with these because they are the same size as a furnace so this this unit right here is 14 and a half inches wide by 30 inches tall by 28 depth and the four ton version over here is going to be 17 and a half inch wide by 30 inches tall by 28 depth so they fit back in the same spot very nice and easy to install that way traditional fan coils can be up to about 50 inches tall way up here so and they are different dimensions 21 by 21 or 22 by 25 depending on which one you go with so so this made for a nice install because they go back in the same position as that furnace um, like I mentioned, we do have traditional coils on top and you would see these as well on a furnace setup But these ADB coils are rated to go with a heat pump condenser So you got to make sure that they are rated for that So we have a three ton ADP coil here and then a four ton ADP coil over here um, Some of the other stuff that we did on this is we did do um, I-Wave air purifiers So we mounted one right here on the side of the furnace the iWave-R. So we have your traditional filter in this filter rack here, which you can pull out and change very easily. That will catch all the big stuff. And then the iWave air purifier mounted on the side down here where the blower is. So anytime the blower is on with heat cool fan, it will actually move those uh, positive and negative ions through the airstream, through your ductwork and out into the rooms to clean the air better. So. A very nice feature filter does the big stuff that does all the small stuff you can't see we also have our drain lines here so they're piped down to a primary drain then we have a secondary shutoff switch and that's for both units on this unit over here it's actually a side shot so we actually are bringing return air in through the side here so our filter rack is on the side so all in all this this uh this worked out really good for the customer it worked out really good for the installation like I said, they are matched with carrier heat pump condensers that are single stage outside. Um, so I'll do another video on that, so make sure you check that out. If you have any questions about this stuff, just leave a comment in the section below, or you can call me at 714-526-6368, and we can go over your questions, concerns about heat pump systems. A couple other things to note about this system is control wiring. Because it was a furnace AC setup, the control wiring that wires the board in here to the board at the actual condenser there was not enough wires so we did have to run new control wiring out there so um, that's something to think about also 
um, when you are heating and cooling, these units will be on. So before, when you were heating, it was just a gas furnace in here, and that was what was on doing the heating element with gas heating. Now that you have a heat pump condenser, one of the differences is that you will actually have the outdoor heat pump condenser on on heating mode, as well as these blowers on in here, all at the same time to do the heating element. And then obviously for cooling, they're all on too. Um, the other thing that a lot of people want to know about is what's my electrical bill going to be like compared to a gas bill? Well, that obviously depends on, on what your electrical usage is, how much you run it, and what they charge you for the electrical in your area. So obviously you would not have a gas heating bill anymore, but you will have electric heating bill depending on how much you run it. Um, if you have solar, obviously that helps a lot depending on if the solar can handle your heating needs. So. You know, all, all those uh, things are a little, you know, little tiny nuances with a heat pump system compared to your traditional gas furnace AC system. We've been doing a lot more of these. Uh, probably over half of our installs are heat pumps now. I expect that to go up in the next year or so in California because of new laws and regulations coming into effect. So please uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I really appreciate uh, all your feedback and uh, Please keep watching the videos. I'll have um, the heat pump video on these out uh, very soon as well. And you can uh, let me know what you think of those. And thank you for watching.